Inocente, sean doenses, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in Salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that, Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a b -b -b banger of a video If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia First and foremost, don't forget to follow my Instagram. We are doing the $2,000 giveaway. Winner will be picked this Monday, so make sure you guys check that out so you don't miss out. As well, please subscribe to my second channel. We're like 60 subscribers away from 10,000 subs. Yeah! Uh, I saw what I did in my Instagram giveaway. There was like a guy who was making clones of- Full back. Mr. Flyboy, if you don't get you. My account with my selfie. You know, I always see when people post on Instagram, please report this account limit. And I'm like, ah, you got a clone. And until it happens to me, I've done reported three of them damn frauds and they keep coming hot. First and foremost, I'm not sending you no damn booboo link for a giveaway. If you read the instructions, it doesn't take to read the instructions. It says I will pick a winner on Monday and I'm gonna cash app you. I will never ask for a link. I will never ask for your credit card. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. I do apologize if you got scammed. Uh, next time you just have to, you know, look out for the fake account. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week and it goes to Crank. Eating my chile rellenos today, crudos, and me lunchtime, but I don't care. I'm ready for the cheese, man. I just realized I didn't fully cook them. <laughs> now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, today's topic of the video is giveaways, and the reason being why is because Miss Elsie Guayavera, um, and before somebody corrects me, it's not Guayavera, shut your freaking Mouth up. We make nicknames here. Remember, I'm Panchita, I'm Pancha, Guillermo, whatever the flying Dublin you want to call me. But I make up nicknames, baby. But Miss Elsie Guayavera had posted a giveaway, and one of the winners actually reached out to Big Dog, Big Dog, one of the best giveaway people, and she said, Big Dog, Big Dog, I want a giveaway. And I go, this isn't not the first time Elsie has made the hook. Elsie blocked me on Twitter and all these other social medias the first time I exposed her, and I had to show her proof. <laughs> I bought her, but this happened. My Now here's the thing, I was actually doing my investigation, now she said that uh, I guess the winners who won the shoes because Miss LC collabed with I guess Alex the shoe plug and the winners of the shoes actually received the shoes but she said she reached out to the other winners of the other boo boo and they didn't get nothing. Now I'm not sure how accurate that is, I didn't reach out to all those other winners, I'm just getting this message from this one particular winner and I think she won like a, a Starbucks gift card, Starbucks or something, it doesn't take that long to get a Starbucks gift card. One thing that kind of triggers me is like when people win a giveaway, you feel me, first and foremost, you should not do a giveaway if you don't have what you're gonna offer in hands already there so if you're gonna give away five thousand dollars if you don't have five thousand dollars already ready to ship don't do the giveaway when you pick a winner i want you to do for all the hot cheetos out there watching this the giveaway winner should be giving their boo boo at least one or maybe even two days there's no need for them to be reaching out to you and bugging you i know personally i wouldn't want somebody reaching out to me so why is it that they just don't ship it out to just get it out the way the same way they're pushing make sure to drop a like make sure to subscribe make sure to because i'm always saying that but i know if i'm saying that that's because i'm reciprocating the energy right back at you guys they're not doing that boo boo they're saying scam y'all appreciate it but go leave that like immediately and then i'll send that giveaway cuando me de la gana. that's not how giveaways should be working one you should have whatever you're gonna offer already to ship and two it should be the same day the same way you want them to be supporting you that fast that's the same way you should be giving out that giveaway and that's all my giveaway winners all of them they've been shipped out the same exponentially same day same day shipping baby but make sure to comment down below do you guys think maybe she's just too busy maybe she forgot but she did block this young lady from responding to her stories i don't see why you will block somebody that want a giveaway that's just trying to reach out to you and spamming you because they want <laughs> but make sure to comment down below speaking of giveaways remember i told you guys this uh today's video is about giveaways did you guys see that the ace family now they're doing some sort of giveaway as well my 
All right, so Kathy and I have decided to push the giveaway for 24 hours to give people more time to participate. Right, baby? Yes, because we didn't take in consideration different time zones, so we're going to do it in the morning. Yep. Especially in the we'll morning. We'll be picking two winners tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. Subank. But I'm assuming they're doing this giveaway because the Ace family isn't doing too pretty. Yeah, feel me? Because uh, to my knowledge, they're also suing Sloan uh, because Sloan said that they sold out on the ticket fest and then the Ace family is, is getting mad because they slowed down the ticket. It doesn't make sense to me. How are you going to say you sold out an event and then you're going to sue somebody because they ruined the event? If it's sold out, how can somebody ruin it? But I can't wait to be there because I am their number one fan. I really want to meet them one on one. But aside from that, did you guys see that Miss Yoatsi accidentally leaked, uh, I guess, the baby's name in her new video? Mike. No mira, no hagan trampa. I am so ready for this baby. I am ready for all of this to get going. I am 35 weeks right now. You guys, um, after I realized the mistake that I had done because of this prego brain, I was like, Bleh! I'm not gonna freaking fix it. But I'd rather tell you guys <laughs> before anybody else does. But yeah, I accidentally leaked my daughter's name. But she does have a middle name. And I don't think you can see that one. So you still don't know her full name. What if I just change the name? <laughs> So I finally went And for all you wondering, I personally didn't want to expose her name just yet because I'm still possibly thinking of changing it. The old changing an excuse, huh? Zabang. I think we can all agree that Miss Yawatsi isn't the best at keeping secrets. Yeah, I feel like this is the second time you get exposed. Girl, re-watch your videos that you're editing and this you're putting this up to the world. You should take more time and consideration to the videos you're doing. This is like the third time you try to keep a damn secret and then you get sorry about that. The baby's name is in the background and then she said it slid, but uh, that was the first name but we don't know the middle name yet so i guess we have to wait for the middle name and did you guys see with bramsey's new reality show now this is the fakest bubble i have ever okay lewis <laughs> lewis my brother my brother my brother from another mother let me tell you something because he is a brother from another mother he is a sagittarius like a brother <laughs> Let me tell you something rather than nothing. You're not gonna do that in real life, Mike. What'd you say? <laughs> not heard what you said. What'd you say? You said she's bad? Yeah. I'm with you, bro. Yo, yo, yeah. yo, yo, chill, You need to have yo, some yo, of fun. You ain't your own. So, Mike. That reminded me back in high school when I would do that with my home. Oh, It's kind of sad, it's kind of sad because when I, I looked to my right, she was like... <laughs> she was there for a fucking hour before. You would do that so much joking around, you feel me? Now to me, if it was more real, you're not gonna grab somebody by the shirt and just go push them four miles down the road grabbing them by the shirt. Yeah. Lewis doesn't really seem like that and, and to begin with. And you can see that Bramsey was already looking at the camera. The guy, it, this whole thing all was, is fake and I'm pretty sure it is fake because this is like a reality show when I guess you gotta make a little bit of fake stuff to make it juicy. But then when they start adding a little bit of fake stuff, then it starts to uh, question the authenticity of the rest of the stuff. So that's the only issue when you start adding fake boo-boo uh, to some sort of show. And the last news, the last cheese, remember I like to uh, put it all together. And you guys had finals week this week. I was not gonna post to get <laughs> Yeah, feel me, I know the system. Y'all were doing your finals. It's a Saturday and now we're good. We're good. Don't try to play me. I know you guys got your final, but y'all you, need to uh, relax a little bit and come join Panchito. Forgetting about the damn cheese, man. The cheese man is your number one final. Yer! But all jokes aside, good luck to everybody who are doing finals because I know it is finals week for college. I do remember finals back in my day i used to cheat it is what it is i got caught up but that's me personally don't do it you study cheaters get nowhere in life i mean well i mean well i mean sometimes they do but i mean for the most part for the most part and i almost forgot in the video but a quick update on beauty by bianca she made this tiktok and in the tiktok comment section she actually replied as to when she made it official p.s we just made it official may 7th anything before that isn't my problem babes also vice versa who's watching after panchito's video she liked it yay but she has me blocked though my sister i still love you though and this other girl actually reposted in my thumbnail i think i'm getting the credit i deserve now really do appreciate it but she had this to post may 8th right there and if you look here you see him go <laughs> and she said y'all want dates the phone doesn't lie this club at 12 45 when he was working at getting the i must have been blind thinking mf was looking right at me while i was recording he came up to me and asked how i was doing asked about her and, and she said no ella no está aquí no es de aquí and i said shay now did you guys see for the world news out in thailand they're gonna be giving away one million plants of the ganja Mike!
bank. Sorry, I had to correct myself. Up to 1 million homes are going to be receiving the ganja. I guess this is to help spread it. I'm not sure if it just got legalized or some sort, uh, but they're going to be doing some sort of giveaway with the ganja. And I also want to say some good news. I know some of you guys probably don't care, but um, I used to be like a super huge ganja activist. And I've recently just been sober now for a week. And I'm really proud of myself because um, I've been smoking every single day nonstop for three years. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, <gasps> calm down, calm down. Uh, but I am now officially almost about, about to be a week sober now. And I am going to continue. I am going to put the ganja to a pause. Nothing wrong with it. I know I have a lot of potheads here. Uh, but me personally, I just wanted to, you know, take a little break. I feel, me. I feel like I just always been, you know, smoking. And Pancho needs to just liberate himself for a couple of seconds here. And if you're on the verge of stopping too, and if maybe I can be some sort of inspiration to you, just know you can do it too. Yeah, feel me. I know the first couple of days is a little bit tough, but um, after that, you're good. You're good. I'm always here for you guys as well. If you guys do need somebody to reach out to, I do respond. Yeah, feel me. I'm not like the other boo boo hot Cheetos. Follow my social media. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on the giveaways. Yeah, feel me. Or the Instagram giveaway, $2,000. You know our giveaways are legit. You know we ship them out same day shipping. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you, Banchitas. Hijo de su pinche madre. No me saco el pinche pollo. Brian! ¿Por qué no me sacaste ese pinche pollo como te dije? Todo el pinche día estoy trabajando. Todo para hacer a estos cabrones. No me pensé ni el pinche pollo.